This is Let's Talk Arts and Entertainment on WMAY here at the Legacy Theater um, during one of the rehearsals for their production of The Music Man, a show that was uh, one of the shows that was postponed like many others, but it is coming back this summer very soon and you'll be able to get your tickets. I'm here with the director and the stars of the show, Scott Richardson and Diane Dietz. How are you guys? Hey, Hi, everybody. Great. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Good to see you guys. So, um, so, so the music man. Uh, love this show. I've done it before. Um, don't have a couple people who are in this show actually. Uh, so, uh, so this is uh, this is a classic show. So, um, for I think a lot of people know this show, but for the people that maybe don't know the music man, what's a what's a, a little bit of a synopsis of it? Okay. Well, a a fast talking salesman arrives in River City, Iowa, in 1912 with a scheme to swindle the town folk out of their hard-earned dollars uh, by uh, selling them instruments and uniforms for an imaginary band. Uh, And then the plans are foiled when the town librarian steals his heart and uh, hilarity ensues. Oh yes, and yes it does. And uh, is that good? Okay. All right. Yes, it is. And and some wonderful songs and dancing and scenes and characters, of course, ensue as well. Uh, so so Diane, this is uh, you were playing Marion, the librarian. And how has it been these past? Well, I mean, it's been the, the course of over a, a little over a year. Has but it uh, how's it been? How's it been? Basically, months, yes, I yeah, I know. But I mean, how is it? How has it been? Uh, you know, rehearsing for this role, uh, learning the music, um, doing the scenes. How is how's that process? Well, I have to tell you, I've known this score since I was uh, 14, so learning the music wasn't really a problem. I've been kind of obsessed with this role for quite some time, so Marion has been on my bucket list for a while. And the rehearsal process has been great just to come together with our friends and make creative musical entertainment together again. Um, It's been a long time, and it feels much longer than it was, but I think... I think you're in for a good show. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy because auditions for this show were at Christmas time, 2019. Oh. 2019. So, you know, that's that's a long time because we, you know, we were supposed to originally do this in the summer of 20, mm-hmm. uh, and so you know we were hopeful in the spring of 20 that that would happen, but by May, hopes were crushed. Mm. Uh, so we postponed for a year, and fortunately, almost everybody uh, could stay with us. In fact. It grew a little bit. Now we have three COVID babies. Oh, oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> that's so great. So with, um, so, so the so the show is as we're as we're uh, doing this interview. The show is uh, pretty close uh, to opening. You guys have the orchestra. You're starting to run things. The costumes, uh, sets. Um, so I guess I guess just generally, how then has it been these past couple of weeks getting things uh, put back together? Um, it's well, you know, it's been a process. We all uh, we started working on the scenery for the show back in March. I think when did we tell the cast that it was our intent to go forward um, with cautious optimism? It was March. It was, was it March? it was early March. Okay. Yes. Okay. We started rehearsals in May. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we started working on scenery and costumes in March, mm-hmm. um, although we had done a lot of legwork toward that the prior year. Um, in fact, uh, contracts that we had for costume construction in Atlanta, Georgia, and also in Texas, we were the only contract that didn't cancel with those two firms. We had them uh, go on and, and build our costumes for us. So um, we thought, well, we're doing music, man. We just don't quite know when. So we might as well, you know, stimulate the economy a little bit and, you know, keep those going. But um so yeah, so we so we let the cast know, you know, in early March that you know we were going to attempt to do this and we were going to take little baby steps with cautious optimism until whatever point that we couldn't, you know. And fortunately, everything got better, and the baby steps take us to July 9th, and there we go. Ta-da! Ta-da! Wonderful, that's great, and that is opening night. Tickets are on sale now, so. Uh, 
How can people uh, how can people get these tickets? When can they see the show? Um, we open July 9th and we run through August 1st, and we have performances Wednesdays and Thursdays at seven, Fridays and Saturdays at eight, and Sundays at two. And you can get tickets online at www.atthelegacy.com, or you can call the theater directly at 217-528-9760 where our helpful team will take their ticket reservation. So, uh, yeah. Wonderful. Thank you. So, uh, thank you so much for joining me, you guys. Break a leg, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Thanks. And I am with the music man, Harold Hill. How are you? Rich Just Beans. Fine. Just <laughs> fine. Thanks. It's good to see you again. We did a, we did Annie together uh, recently, uh, but, uh, but you were here uh, in River City, Iowa as... Harold Hill, or is he? But, <laughs> so, anyways, uh, so how has it been uh, doing this, doing this, uh, this massive role of Harold Hill? Well, it's been wonderful. Uh, this is a bucket list role, something I've always wanted to do, but uh, have some trepidation. But uh, the staff here has been wonderful, and it's been wonderful to work with the cast. Um, so I have no, no complaints, as they say. Yes, no complaints. But how's the, uh, and so how has, uh, you, you guys almost did the show about a year ago. And uh, like many things, it had to be uh, pushed off for a little bit. But, um, but now things are back. How has it been coming back to the theater in general, but also just back to this theater, uh, doing the music band and, uh, and uh, just get back into the th swing of things? Yeah, that's a great question. It's been wonderful. Again, I use that word a lot, but it's been wonderful to be around other individuals. Uh, we, When we first started our rehearsals, we were kind of tentative with our masks, but then we realized many of us have been vaccinated. So just having a lot of uh, interaction has been good. And then uh, sort of uh, getting the cobwebs off our, our theater skills has been interesting, but it's been great. Yeah, no, that's that's great. Yeah, I, I, I feel that absolutely, you know, because I, uh, I, did, I did a a show with that uh, STC uh, in, in between the pandemic and I use my voice almost every day on the radio but when you get in there to audition or to sing and you're just like oh my goodness I haven't used like my my you know my singing my, my vocal cords I haven't used them in so long it's just it's it's incredible but so it is uh, so it has been a lot of fun uh, seeing things open back up and this uh, and this classic musical coming back which is going to be a lot of fun uh, definitely um, so what is, uh, I guess one, what is one of your favorite parts of doing this show? Well, I guess probably one of my favorite parts is getting to do some of the uh, songs like Trouble. Oh. Uh, they take a, takes a lot of effort and a lot of energy and the cadence of those songs. I remember the first time I saw a production of Music Man and I just marveled at how quickly the words went by. And uh, it was actually the song that uh, I chose for my audition, and because I figured that if I could do that one, I could oh. I could do the role. Yeah. So that I, I look forward to that, even though it is a, a difficult song. It's just so much fun with all of the different uh, scenes that it creates. So I've enjoyed that. Wonderful. Good. Tickets are on sale now. Show runs from July 9th through to August 1st. Rich, thanks so much for joining me and break a leg. Thank you. Thank you, Brad. And uh, I am with Campbell Coker, who we did The Music Man seven years ago. So, uh, Campbell, how are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing. I'm doing great. Uh, it's it's great to. Uh, we'll be back in theaters in general. But how has it been uh, doing this show again? This is what maybe the third time you've done this show. Yeah, this is my third time doing this show. I've done it twice. I did the one uh, with you, and then I did the junior version. And so now I'm playing Zanita in this version, and I love it so much. It's like one of my most favorite shows. So it's a great show to start theater back up again with. Oh yeah, see gods. Yes. Yeah, it's really great, and yes. the character is very much me. So oh yeah. Oh, that's when when I saw that you were Zanita, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> lot, it was a lot of fun. So, so how has it been playing this role, getting back into doing theater? It's been great. It's been a little challenging just because it's been so long since I've done anything. So I've been a little like caught off guard with some things, but it's definitely great to get back in the groove of it. Yes, it is, and um, and so and and we've kind of gone over that uh, Zanita's a 
I would fit for you, of course. But <laughs> but I mean, how has how has it been playing this character? I mean, how you know, fun, you know, challenging. What ways? How how has it been? It's been super fun. It's very much like I said, very much me. She's um, a little quirky, a little crazy. Um, has her little line, her ye gods line, and I don't use, I don't have like a catchphrase like that, but it definitely like fits. I think it fits me pretty oh. well. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the craziness and the quirkiness of the character is definitely very much me. Absolutely. So what's uh, so so what do you what do you hope people take away from this show when they come to see it? I think it's a really good show to start theater again with, just because it's like giving people hope that like music can give people hope. Like with Winthrop, like he doesn't speak at the beginning of the show very much, but now by the end he's playing instruments and singing. So I think it's like another like, oh look, theater and music does wonders for people, and it'll um, I hope it gives the audience that same feeling. Wonderful. Tickets are on sale now, and they are the show is going to run from July 9th through August the first. Campbell, thank you so much for joining me and break a leg. Hey, thank you for having me. Thank you. It's Let's Talk Arts and Entertainment on WMAY. Thank you.